Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to just give you an update on my hair story and what I'm using on my hair right now and obviously I've been using it for a while etc and you know exactly what product it is. And if you are new to my channel then you will not probably have seen the video where I basically dyed my hair on screen and used the product for the first time that was a very long time ago. I think it was about two to three months ago yeah i think in two two and a half months um so the product i did use and the product i'm going to talk about today and i am not sponsored whatsoever i just think i need to speak about it a lot of people have asked me about my hair i get a lot of compliments and stuff at work people want to know what i'm using how it's lasting and how much of the product i'm getting through so that's all i'm going to talk to you about today is my hair so this is the product that i've been using and it does say on here that it is a hair mask, a hair colouring mask. So there is no sort of nastiness in it. There's no like when you dye your hair, there's no no crap in there that's going to make your hair in a bad condition. So this is a colour and a nourishment. It does say so on the bottle there. Um, and I did pick up the colour grey on the back. Uh, this cost me 9 99 I think, or 9 98 on eBay um, and it's the darkest shade I could find. I didn't want silver hair, I've done that. I wanted grey hair, so like a dark grey because of my roots are really quite dark and I'm trying to grow them out a little bit and so I thought this would be the next best thing to blonde. So yes, that's how I started going into this. Um, let me feel. So have you, I've had, had it about two, two and a half months and the product is about there in the bottle so just below half i'd say just about there um, and the first time i did use it i put it on like like i squeezed a lot of the stuff into a tub and mixed it with conditioner i'm going to link the video somewhere probably at the end um i mixed it in that way that's how i did it so I did use a lot of product that first time. I wish I didn't have applied it that way. Um, uh, this is the colour I'm at now. What is this kink? God damn. This colour is like a lighter grey. It's still, it is still grey. It's not blonde or anything. It's mid grey. I'd say it's mid grey slash silver. Um, and I have been washing it once a week for two and a half months, maybe three months now. And um, the first time I washed it, I was frightened it was gonna run out and I was scared and I thought, please don't go back blonde. So what I did is I purchased some blue shampoo. Everybody, you know where to get it, everybody knows. And I washed it the first time with that. And then the next time I washed my hair, I used this again. I, mix, I didn't mix it or anything. I put it, when I'm in the shower, squeeze it into my hand and I put it on my wet hair. And left it for 10 minutes just to keep the, the colour um so i've not really let it wash out but then i leave it two washes i'll wash my hair like twice and then i'll not touch up or anything at all and it, it stays this colour this is the lightest i've let it go this is two washes maybe three three washes three washes where i haven't touched up at all so and this is the colour that it is right now so i've left it i've not washed it with that i've not washed it with blue shampoo i've just used a normal shampoo a normal conditioner for three washes and this is where we are a lot of people comment saying uh, what color does it wash down to well this is the color i'm at right now and this is kind of what it's washed down to i guess it just gets a lighter gray every single time you wash it but i've really not noticed that much of a difference it's more of a silver than a gray now but yeah, it's it's a really good product. Um, it's lasted that long and I've still got just under half left. So if I do it every three washes maybe, if I apply it every three washes, that's all you'll need really to keep up with it. 
for the time being I'm just gonna leave it I'm gonna keep washing my hair as normal I want to see what the color does wash down to I think it will just wash down to like a, an ashy blonde maybe a very silvery blonde um, but I don't think it's gonna ever go back blonde well it will eventually but like by washing it four or five times it's not going anywhere this color is sticking around it's a really good product I would highly recommend it um, I had people coming up to me at work the other day and says how did you get your hair that color I, I paid hundreds for my wife to have her hair that color and it's still not there and it's literally eBay <laughs> I do love it. I think it's a really good product. My hair is in really good condition as well. It's really shiny, really soft. I have not missed dyeing it whatsoever. It's really good. So, it's good. It's lasting. It's worth the money. It's not damaging my hair whatsoever. And it washes down to a really nice silver. So, if you did want to try it and you didn't want it to go as great, I will try and insert a picture of what my hair looked like when I first did it. So, I'll put it here. Um, then if you don't want it that dark then um, I would suggest not mixing it with a bowl and conditioner just washing your hair with shampoo then applying that on wet hair but make sure you do coat it every single everywhere wash it out um, and then condition it over the top so it won't stain it as long um, that's my suggestion but I love the colour it come, come as I like it um, if you've had any sort of experiences with toners, I suggest it's a toner. I think it is a toner. Like, I want to try different coloured toners, so I really want to know how you guys got on with them, if any of you have tried them. So, um, I really want to try and get like a dark blonde. I don't know whether that's a toner or just a semi-permanent. What would you re recommend? I don't know. Eventually with my hair what I want to do is make this fade into like a nice blonde so there's no harsh line that it just fades nice into a nice blonde all the way down gets lighter as it goes and then I won't have to dye it if, if you know what I mean I won't have to keep like touching up as much um, I could just let it grow my hair's grown quite a lot as well so it is really long now it used to be so it's down here when I had it blonde, uh, it was like here, so it's grown about that much. Which is quite a big difference, really. That's quite a lot of hair. I do need to have my, my ends snipped a little bit. But yeah, it's grown nice as well, so it's not doing any damage whatsoever. I, I can personally see. Uh, yeah, save yourself some money, guys, and go and buy that. And save yourself hundreds of pounds at the hairdressers. I do recommend it. This is what it washes down to. I assume it goes a little bit lighter each time. But yeah, three washes. This is the colour. I hope the lighting shows it as well as I can see it. So that's it. I'm going to go. I just wanted to give you a little update and a little few tips and tricks on that product. I think Maki or Makai should sponsor me. Because you know, I'm doing it some favours here. Just saying. Yeah, I do like it. I really do like it. It's one of the best things I've ever found. A lot of people always said to me, oh, you need to use that um, touch of silver shampoo to get this colour. I was like, I've tried it, girl. Don't work. It's crap. I've tried literally every single shampoo, like a silver, purple, whatever colour, blue shampoo you want to try and get a silvery, blondy sort of hair. I've tried them all and this is my favourite. Uh, they do have other flavours. <laughs> colours even uh, they have instead of grey there is a silver so it, there is silver if you did want a silver but this is for dark grey I love it so yeah I'm gonna go I just wanted to give you a little update on that product and yes thanks for watching guys and um, take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video bye